video. Oh, cool. Hey everybody! Happy Six Quack Sassy Jackie Hour! Yay! <laughs> Look, my Jojo's here tonight. Hi Jojo! And you know, I'm running around like a maniac trying to get everything done. And what's the one thing that I always, always forget? My computer. I have everything all prepped though. I've been working since I got off work to get everything prepped and ready. So I'm going to kind of hang out and see who we get on here and put my little computer over here so I can see you guys and I can talk to you guys because you know I love talking to you Aunt guys. Rose and Josh. Hi Aunt Rose. Hi Josh. Um, yeah, so tonight I kind of got a bunch of stuff going on, but last week was a short show because I, I really had some stuff together and I've got a lot together this week. So. I'm going to give everybody a couple minutes to get on. Yeah, Rose O'Hara. Hi, Rose. And once I see, once we get some people on, we're going to chat and I'm going to start cooking. And tonight's about Easter. I'm just kind of doing, I'm doing an Easter dessert. I'm doing a lemon ice box cake. I cannot take credit for the recipe. I did find it on Facebook probably three or four years ago. Um, so I will put it up there with the website that, that I got the recipe from. Um, the tortellini salad is a good side, and it's really, you guys can create whatever you want with it. You probably, through all my shows, you know that I like a bunch of fresh, fresh, fresh vegetables. So, I've got some peppers and some asparagus and onions and fresh garlic and zucchini. I just sprinkled some basil. Look, I've got my basil plants, and there's some uh, parsley in there, so I still have some fresh basil and parsley put aside. I'm going to roast that. I've got my little mozzarella balls. I've got some tomatoes and some peppers. Because I have my tortellini here, and we're going to make a salad out of all of that. But I like a little bit of cold and crunchy with the hot and the, the crispy. And these will not be mushy because I just cook them to a point where they have a nice little char and they have that roasted flavor. I'm going to try something different tonight, too. I have never cooked with fennel. But, you know, I see it all the time, and I always want to try it. So... I cut it, it was big bulb. I peeled the outside layers and I watched and they said cut out the middle section. So I did that and I'm actually gonna cut some of this up and I'm gonna put it on my tray here. But I think I'm gonna leave some raw to have that little bit of crisp in here as well. This is something new. I'm a creative cook so if you like anise, you know, try it, give it a shot if you haven't. If you don't like anise, probably don't wanna do it because it does have an anise flavor. Um, well, I've tried it. He tried a little bite and I tried a little bite. Again, it's something completely new that we've never had, so I'm all about new. Who do we have out there, honey? Same. I'm not online yet, I'm like, I think I have one of the things I have to make myself a note. Note to self, have computer so I can see you guys. Oh, there I am. Now if I can just um, watch without the volume. There we go. Now I can see who's here. Josh, Aunt Rose, and Patty, and Rose. So again, tonight is going to be, um, it's going to be a night about Easter. So <laughs> I know I'm jumping back and forth. My anise, my fronds from this, they also say that you can cook with this. So we're going to give it a couple minutes and I want to tell you guys a couple exciting things. Um, Obviously, I delivered cinnamon rolls to my winner on Sunday. So Kylan got a dozen cinnamon rolls. She got um, plain caramel and caramel with nut, pecan. And we had a house full of people that enjoyed them. It was pretty, pretty much fun. Um, we, we enjoyed it and gave a lot away. Hi, Jerry. It's good to see you back. I haven't seen you in a while. Um, so the cinnamon rolls, huge hit. And I had a lot of company here, and I had a lot of help. I had Sue, my girlfriend, Sue and Lenny, their granddaughter, Sophia, was here, and she was helping cut cinnamon rolls, and she just loved that. So that was pretty fun. That was exciting. And then I had Donna and Bill and Lonnie and Bob and Joe and Riff and Raff, <laughs> which is Joe and, oh, I'm not sure. Who else was here Saturday or Sunday? I don't want to miss any. Courtney was here. I don't want to miss anybody. If I did miss you, I'm sorry. But hey, exciting news. We are at 394 likes on my Sassy Jackie page. 
Six more and we hit the 400 threshold. Our YouTube, we're at 112, so we need to get that going. Um, Instagram, we're starting to get some followers there. And um, guys, we're really picking up. Josh has been uploading all the videos to the website, so once I get the videos done, he's uploading those to the website. So you can go to sassyjackie.com. And um, of course, the Sassy Jackie homepage here. You could, on YouTube, we have the Sassy Jackie URL because we hit the 100 likes or subscribers. Then that's all because of you guys, so thank you. So one more thing before I really get started. Hey, Terry. Hey, Missy. Missy, we're going to see her in a couple weeks. So I picked a special shirt to wear tonight. It says, I can and I will. It's my motto. It's always my motto. I can and I will. Listen, guys, with the help of you, Sassy Jackie has been getting wildly successful. I go places and people are like, hey, Sassy. So I just want to thank you for that. With that being said, I did some prep. Oh, the big guy saying hi to everybody. <laughs> hi, bestie. With that being said, I'm going to start getting, I'm going to get these vegetables in the oven. So what I did before camera is I cut up a red pepper, uh, orange pepper, yellow pepper. I broke up some asparagus. And if you've ever cooked with asparagus, I've got some in a jar, in a cup here, in the water. But when you do your asparagus, you just want to break where the natural break is. And then just break it and throw it in, and this part is trash. You're good. It breaks really easy. So I've got some asparagus, some zucchini, some onions, some garlic some fennel, and some fresh basil. And all I am going to do is I'm going to get my oil here. Actually, I think I'm going to use my olive oil tonight for this. Get my olive oil, and I'm going to drizzle some olive oil over all of the vegetables. Then I'm going to give it a toss. I'm going to put some, some salt and pepper. You know, I've got a lot of garlic on the cookie sheet. Otherwise, I would put some garlic salt. But um, I think that we're going to have a lot of garlic flavor, so I'm just going to sprinkle some salt to your liking. And remember my pepper trick, it works, it works well when you're doing a ton of pepper. I am not going crazy shaking my pepper all over. Alright guys, so oops, I need some more on the asparagus. So I'm just going to give this a quick toss, get that oil mixed in a little bit just so when it goes in the oven. And I'm not leaving it separated for any purpose except that it looks pretty. So you've seen a lot of times I'll roast them together. I wasn't sure if I was going to do grilled vegetables or roasted vegetables tonight, but roasted vegetables, why not? <laughs> He's showing the vegetables. They look yummy. But the roasted vegetables won out, so there you go, honey. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going to, I've got my oven set to 450, and we are going to get to work on our, um, our lemon icebox cake. So first off, for the lemon icebox cake, I took a 9x13 pan, and I just put a sheet of foil in it. Because you put it in the freezer, and it freezes, so then you just lift it out when it's all frozen. And all I'm going to do, guys, this is so easy, is I'm going to put some graham crackers. And you can just put them however you need to. Break the ones that you need to break. Because at the end, it just makes a crust anyway. So it's okay if they're broke. It's okay if they have jagged edges. There's no science to it. But I will tell you, I made this, um, I didn't make it last Easter. I wanted to, but I didn't. I made it the Easter before, and it was a big hit. It was very refreshing after, after eating, um, you know, our Easter dinner. It was very, very refreshing. We're just going to fill that in there. All right. So it's one pack of graham crackers done. So to get the, the uh, filling, I have two packages of instant lemon pudding and hi Jojo hi. Hi, Jojo oh it, it's good and it's fast guys it's so fast and I'm actually gonna have time tonight I told you guys I make some smoothies sometimes because I need my vegetables to cook I'm actually might have time to show you my my smoothies that I make so I am gonna add the two packets of 
lemon jello. I've got an 8-ounce container of Cool Whip. Put that in there. Make sure it's thawed out. You know, Cool Whip is the best. And then three cups of milk. And I'm just going to pour that in there. I'm not using the uh, the big beastie mixer tonight. I'm going to use this, and we're just going to mix it up. I feel like I'm going to have a mess, so I'm just going to kind of hang out in the middle for a minute. Mm, you guys smell the lemon? Smell the lemon? Cameraman's did fire. That smells good. Do you smell that lemon? Doesn't it smell fresh? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take half of this. Yeah, we're going to take that one out. Oh, it smells good. Doesn't it? Now I can smell it. And we're just going to pour half of it over here. Like so. Yeah, it's about half. Oh. Shh. Don't tell. No, oh, refreshing. And I'm just going to do that. And watch this, how easy. I'm going to take another pack of graham crackers and layer them on top. And again, they make their own um, crust. So you don't even have to worry about it. Ezra is saying hi, Jackie. Who is? Ezra. Hi, Ezra! And then we're going to put, oh, look at that. It fits perfect. So we're going to do this and this. Put this here. And I'm going to put these down here. Isn't this crazy easy? It's like, it's the easiest thing ever. And you'll be like, you'll be a rock star. Everybody will think you spent so much time on this. So I've got my next layer of graham crackers. Now I'm going to put the last of it. Oh, what did I do with my spoon? Did I keep... Oh, there it is. Grab my spoon here. Guys, this is so good. So the topping, the icing on top, I will tell you, I change it a little bit. Um... I'm not a real sweet fan, and the icing on top calls for two cups of powdered sugar, milk, and some lemon juice. I'm actually, I don't like it so sweet. I like that tartness. So we've got the lemon pudding here. Oh, doesn't that look good? Jojo, you want to see? No, it's beautiful. I can smell it from right over there. In a minute, Jojo, our special Easy. guest, will get to lick the spoon. Easy peasy. It Easy. is. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ah! <laughs> and then, and then I'm just going to put one more layer of graham crackers. Mm -hmm. The oven. Our oven just got loud. So this, I used a whole box of graham crackers. This is a whole box of graham crackers, guys. Just so when you're doing your, um... Just so when you're doing your yours, it's a whole box of graham crackers. You're not going to really have anything left over. But I'll tell you what, it's good. So, I'm going to deviate a little bit from the recipe because, again, I don't like all the sweetness. So... I am going to do something a little bit different. Huh. Imagine that. I'm going to do something different. I have 
more pool whip. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pool whip back in this bowl that I used here. And I'm going to uh, mix some fresh lemon in it. I have some organic lemon extract. I have a lemon. And I'm going to put a little bit of powdered sugar in it, but not much. Because again, I don't like all the sweetness. So I'm going to take this over here. Their recipe calls for two cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of milk, and a half a cup of butter. And I did take the butter out, and I did have intentions of using it. And I thought, you know what? I just don't want all the sweetness. So I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to cut my lemon up, get a different knife. So I can get some lemon juice in here. Oh, knives, knives, knives. I got a million knives. Which one do I want? And then at the end, this is just gonna go in my refrigerator or my freezer. This wasn't a good knife to choose. This is gonna go in my freezer. I'm just gonna squeeze it. Squeeze it over my hand so that the seeds don't go in there. And it's okay that I that I have uh Got a deal, Joe, Lori, Lori Ann, and Sharon Huffleck. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sassy Jackie. I'll just give this a quick mix. I am going to add a little bit of, let's see. Hmm. You know, guys, I might not add anything. Let's see. This is like creating. <laughs> So, you know, sometimes cooking is just fun because, because you just create. Kim Dawn Higgins. Higgins. Yeah, it needs a little bit of the sugar. Stephen Greco. Hi, everybody. It's going good. Keep it taste that lemon. Mm. So I'm going to put about yeah, a half a cup of powdered sugar. And I will put just a little bit of, you know what, I'm not going to use milk. I'm going to use heavy cream. So I'm going to put about, uh, let's see, one, two, that's about two tablespoons of heavy cream. And we're going to give it a mix. Let's see. And this will be just perfect. I'm looking at my fingers tonight, guys. Sorry. I don't normally do that in front of you. Sophia says hi. Hi, Sophia. So I'm just going to give this a quick... Oh, yeah. Sophia helped me make cinnamon rolls. Oh, guys, look at this. So again, if you want to do the powdered sugar, it's um, two cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of milk, and a half a stick of butter. I, however, don't like it as sweet, so I did Cool Whip. Look at that. Nice. I did Cool Whip. What do you think, cameraman? Oh, oh yeah. That's good. Guys, look at that. Good? Is it lemony? Yes. Is it light? Refreshing. Oh, look at that. That's almost like marshmallow. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh. And... You know what, again, this is where I differ from that recipe that, that I got because I don't like all that sweetness. I like the tart. Look how pretty this is, guys. And this is just going to go in the freezer. So you're not going to see it come out of the freezer for the Sassy Jackie show. But I think that tonight we're probably, or tomorrow, going to take it out. And yes, that'd be awesome. Yeah. Cameraman's helping me out here. Like, and there you get to check here, Jojo. Oh, yeah, I get this one. And I gotta give cameraman a taste. Oh my God. Hi, Tara. Hi, Steph. Up, oh, cameraman's got it. So now, since I cut my lemon up, I just want to do a little bit of lemon zest over it. I'm just gonna zest a little bit of lemon. Guys, 10 minutes. Yeah, we're 18 minutes into the show, but I chatted first, so 
And I put the vegetables in the oven. I have the tortellini already cooked. Cameraman approves. <laughs> it's cameraman approved, guys. So here, you know what I, you know what I did today when I was at the store after work, because you know for some reason I just end up on Tuesday nights going to the store after work. Um, I also bought some banana instant pudding. You could do this with banana if you don't want lemon. If you're not a lemon fan, do it with banana and it. I did buy some banana to do it, but here's what I would do. I have some frozen bananas in the freezer that I froze yesterday that we're gonna use for smoothies actually. But I would freeze bananas and I would do this with the banana pudding. I do the exact same thing. Put some bananas in the middle and um, make the exact same dessert. And for the topping, use whatever topping you want. You can either use this one or you can use the one that's in the recipe. But just add some flavoring, whether it's vanilla, whether it's lemon, whatever flavoring you want. But guys, that's it. What do you think, cameraman? Wonderful. Are you ready to eat it? Yep. Now I'm going to take all these bowls away, and I'm going to check on the veggies. I'm not going to put that in the sink because I think that somebody's going to want to clean out the bowl. So, <laughs> so we're just leaving that. I'm going to check on the veggies now. We'll see how our veggies look. Oops, they're looking mm. good. And you know, I don't want them real mushy. I want them to be crisp still. So let's see. I think they're good. I just have them cooked enough where they do have some... They're not raw. They've cooked just enough to... Um, have a little bit of color, and I'm just going to set them right here for the moment. I got like, I got things going on here tonight, guys. My goodness. I am going to, so for my tortellini salad, I'm going to get rid of this knife, I don't like it. For my tortellini salad, I've got the vegetables. I also cut up some um, Italian fryers, some tomatoes, and then I have the little mozzarella balls in case you want to. See what those are? They're the little mozzarella pearls. I love these. I put them in salads all the time. So I've got the mozzarella pearls. I've got my tortellini over here. I've got some fresh basil, some fresh parsley from my plant that Bob is keeping alive for me. So I'm going to, first off, I'm going to put my peppers in. I'm going to put my cheese balls in. Put my tomatoes in. I didn't cut up my fennel yet. I gotta cut up my fennel. I'm not gonna put a lot because again, this is something new to us. So we're gonna try it. Uh, I'm gonna say that's enough just for tonight because again, it's something new and we're trying it. I cooked about, that's about a pound and a half of tortellini. And put that in here. And get that going. I've got my fresh basil. I'm gonna put that in there. We're gonna put that on top. So we're just gonna wait for the fresh basil and the fresh parsley. I have the stacked in leaves. There's my fresh basil. I'm gonna do my fresh parsley. And I'm just giving it a rough chop. For the uh, dressing for the tortellini salad, you know, it's something that will sit well, and it's not real, well, the tortellini is heavy, but it's just a light, with all the vegetables. You could use tortellini, you could use, um, just whatever you want in it. I like the tortellini. So I have my handy dandy little, um, it's a salad, a salad dressing cup. So I'm going to make some dressing for our tortellini salad. And I learned a valuable lesson about a month ago. I have these squeeze bottles and I do not squeeze them in to make salad dressing because it popped on me and I had oil everywhere and poor Bob had to clean it all up. But he was a trooper. Alright, so I've got three quarters. I have a cup of oil and I'm going to put a half a cup of vinegar and I use, I'm using the white balsamic for this. So... 
chances are that's about a half a cup right there like this this bottle I opened my other bottle just in case I keep stocked on um, balsamic vinegar I've got about six bottles over there of different flavors so that's that I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of salt about a teaspoon of salt I'm gonna put probably about a teaspoon of pepper put in some uh, I'm gonna shake in about two teaspoons of basil I have the fresh basil and you know what I forgot I forgot sugar I'm gonna put a little bit of sugar probably probably about a tablespoon Here's about a tablespoon of sugar. And that's going to be our dressing to go over it. It may not take it all, but guys, it's sure looking good. Jojo, you want to come take a gander? I got Jojo back and forth. How's it looking? Oh my goodness, look at the color in that. That's really nice. I'm going to shake this up. Really nice. I'm going to move some things around, guys. I'm going to get my pan of fresh veggies. And I may have made too many, but don't worry because they taste amazing. So again, I've got, I've got some red onions, some fresh garlic, some peppers, some zucchini, some asparagus, and a little bit of the fennel. So I'm just going to... Put all this in. Who we got out there? Let's see. <laughs> I won't get burned, Aunt Rose. Hi, Heather. Hi, Tracy. Hi, everybody. Whoever I haven't said hi to. Hi, Sue. And I'm going to just... I made, you know me, um, I, I, I make enough for an army. So I'm probably not going to put all that in there. However, look at how amazing this looks. I'm going to give it a quick toss. Oh, that's a meal in itself. Mm -hmm. What do you think, honey? We don't need the steaks. <laughs> wow, that looks That great. is a meal in itself. And I'm not, I'm not, this is like way too much salad dressing. I'm way too much dressing. I'm probably, here I'll measure out for you guys. I'm going to try, let's see. I'm probably going to do about a half a cup of the dressing. This is a quarter of a cup. Oh, uh, what's that, a measuring cup? That's what? You're using a measuring cup? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's true. I'm using a measuring cup. Hi, Sue. Hi, Carla. Let's see. Hi, Barb. I haven't seen Barb in a long time. We got Tara and Steph and Kim. Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, Lori. Hi, Anita. Hi, Gail. Hi, Steve. See, I think I'm, I think I'm caught up now. Oh, my goodness, Guys. How would you like this for an Easter side? It's wonderful. It's, it's so pretty. Yes. And it's so, um, it's refreshing, you know? I mean, you got a little bit of the roasted and then a little bit of the fresh. Would the cameraman like a sample? No. No? I'll would, wait for supper. Would Jojo like a sample? Oh, of course. <laughs> well, why don't you grab a spoon out of there and then the next one down is a little dish. And you could be our taste tester, Jojo. Oh, that's wonderful. And a little tiny thing. Are we done with the oven? Yes, I'm done with the oven. Thanks, Sue. Oh, let's see. All right, we got to get you some of that. I'll be right over. I'll bring the wine. Who's Tracy. coming? Tracy. Okay, Tracy. We got some cheese. We need to get some peppers. Make sure we got everything in here for you. Tony yes. Lang. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Tony. All right, Jojo, oh, a spoon no. or a fork? No, I'm just kidding. All right, check. Honey, Jojo's on camera. Mm. Mm. Oh, the dressing is wonderful. Does it pass? Oh, yes. Okay. Ten stars. Ten <laughs> stars. Woo! All right, so I'm going to put this over here so you can see this. So we've got our tortellini salad. We have our lemon. Wow, guys, this is pretty. We've got our lemon cake. And then since we are at 630, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put a couple things 
out of my way here, and I'm going to show you guys how I make my smoothies. Good? Mm. All right. We are going to make smoothies in just a minute. So, guys, again, thanks to you guys. Hey, hey, hey. We have, huh? I was uh, eating those. Oh, no, I got more there. Thanks to you guys, we have almost 400 followers. We are six followers away on my Sassy Jackie page from 400. We are working on hashtag Famousicity, hashtag Food Network Pick Her Up, hashtag Bobby Filet, You Need Her, hashtag Guy Fieri. It may not be a diner driving in dive, but it's Sassy Jackie's Kitchen. You should come. Oh, that's a good one, guys. We should get Guy Fieri. And it doesn't have to be a diner driving and dive, right? It could be Sassy Jackie's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make a smoothie real quick and just show you since I've got a little bit of time. Get out my ninja here. And we don't need this sugar anymore. I'm not a powdered sugar fan. I have to use it sometimes. But we're going to put our ninja and put this. I didn't keep the stuff out for this because my fruit is frozen and I didn't want to... Um, I didn't want it to thaw out. Otherwise, I would have had this ready like I had everything else ready. So, hey, one of my customers came to the branch today. And uh, we usually deliver them Bob's World Famous Pizzelles. And today they brought us an Easter bread. They brought me Easter bread today. So, we've had Easter bread. I'm excited to try it. So, thank you, Liz and Pete. All right, guys. So, for my smoothies... I'm going to get some ice. I've got my ninja here. Let's go to noise for a minute. It's not too good. That's a meal in itself. The fennel is good. Huh? The fennel is very good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've never had fennel. All right, so I've got <clears throat> probably three cups of ice in there. I've got... Coconut water, I've got a container of coconut water. Just gonna open that and pour that. And pour, well, I might as well do that. I'm probably gonna have to add more ice. And then here's the thing with smoothies. When you use frozen fruit, it's they are um they're just fresh and the frozen fruit actually acts like ice so it doesn't water down as much. I put them on here last night and I didn't get to uh, take them off yet so I don't know if this was a good idea or not. I probably should put parchment paper down. Bend, bend, bend the lid. Bend them. See if that helps. No. Yeah like an ice cube tray. Look at that. I'm going to keep the big guy around. You know he has an alter ego. It's, called, it's named Jaquan. Jaquan is his alter ego. So we're going to do a banana pineapple one with coconut water. You know, I do have rum I could add to this for an amazing pina colada. All right, so we do that. And Jaquan and all of his smartness. Look at that. Honey, you're so smart. We're going to throw in some fresh pineapple. Remember Sunday night I made, um, I cut up all that fruit. Here's some of it. Now I will tell you that pineapple overpowers everything else. So I didn't put as much pineapple as banana. And then cameraman, you might want to step back for a minute because it's going to get very loud. All right, and then I'm just going to put it on uh, my smoothie. And it's going to air out on me. Uh-oh, why is it? Says you haven't made a smoothie in a while. Uh oh, cameraman.
days. Because the fruit is frozen, it's almost like ice cream. Look at that. That's like a banana pineapple ice cream. How good and refreshing does that look, guys? This time of year, I yeah. This time of year, I start making them. You know what? Pour a little bit of rum over this. I think that would be amazing. Yeah, it's nice and thick because of the ice and the iced fruit, the frozen fruit. So look guys, let me put it over here with everything else so cameraman can, can uh, show you everything. So tonight, I mean it's a quick night. All I did was prep beforehand the vegetables and I cooked the tortellini. But we've got tortellini salad, I roasted some red and orange peppers, um, asparagus, red onion, garlic, a little bit of fennel, zucchini. Put some uh, olive oil and some salt and pepper on that. Then I had cut up some grape tomatoes. Got some um, mozzarella, little mozzarella pearls. And I cut up a, a, yeah, a green pepper, um, an Italian fryer, and a little bit of fennel. And I mixed it up. Then I made my dressing. I used a cup of oil, a half a cup of vinegar, about two table, a tablespoon of sugar, Teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, and some basil. Oh, guys, what am I thinking? So this is my fresh basil and my fresh parsley. Let's make this even look prettier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh, that looks amazing. So, good, good Easter. You know, something different for Easter. Something a little, I think it's pretty easy to make. Um, I was super excited, so somebody made my Sassy Jackie's Twisted Stuffed Peppers this week, yesterday, and sent me a picture, and uh, they looked amazing. So I'm excited that you guys are making my recipes, so I hope you make my recipes, you share my recipes, and I really, really appreciate you guys spending your Tuesday nights with me. It really means the world to me. Um, on that note, guys, I mean, we, we really had, you know, it was an easy night. We've got, we've got our smoothies, we've got our tortellini salad, and we have our lemon ice box cake. When I take that out of the freezer, I will do it live where I take it out and we cut it so you can see exactly how it comes out. I didn't get a chance to make one yesterday, so had I done that, you would have seen that today. But guys, anybody have anything for Sassy Jackie tonight? Because I know I just want to thank you guys again because you're, you're, you guys are awesome. And without you... I wouldn't be me, but remember, I can and I will, but I can't and I won't without you guys, so thank you. I hope everybody has a very happy Easter. I hope that you get to spend time with your family and your friends, and, and it's just a really great Easter for you in, in this week. So on that note, Famousicity, hashtag Sassy Jackie, hashtag Famousicity, hashtag Guy Fieri. It doesn't have to be a diner driving and drive. It has to be Sassy Jackie's Kitchen. I don't know, shorten that somehow, <laughs> but um, but please, please share, guys. I love you guys, and that's tonight's show, so everybody have a great Easter. I will be live a couple more times this week. Love you guys. Sassy Jackie's out.